Hi there, it's Karen here from Turquoise Treasures and welcome back to uh, Rock, the next um, Rockley's Weekly Challenge which is Week 38 Library Card Pockets. Um, I'm a bit late doing this challenge this week because I've, I've struggled a bit this week with my elbows and my hands um, being a bit achy so I've I've potted about in my craft room but I haven't been able to settle to do much in the way of videos. I made one a um, couple of days ago just to see if I could and it went okay so um, I thought I'd, I really needed to get on with doing this. So this is now Sunday and uh, the next one is going to be loaded up tomorrow so I thought I really wanted to get this done. Um, so let's get started um, and then I can I can chat and, and tell you about what's been happening in, in our world. Um, so I just got these papers here that I've already pre-cut. Um, these ones, I'm not sure why this one is longer than these, but um, they're all different sizes, but they're all the same width. They're all four and a half. I just measured them all at four and a half. Um, so we'll just, just try doing it in some sort of mass making uh, way that uh, Rachel was doing. Well, she was she was doing hers one at a time, and she but she said it would be easy to mass make, so I thought I'd do it that way. Um, and then make them all up and then decorate them even if I don't get to finish decorating all of them. So um, let's just get started. I've been wanting to do this for days and, and I've just got to try and remember how she did it. So I think she starts off by folding in the size. This is going to be a, um, a smaller one, I think, because I think I seem to have got a smaller piece and it's a little bit torn along the edges. So I'm hoping these will fold in okay. Just try and keep the folds. So it was this folding and um, and the folding and the cutting that I thought might be a bit tough on my elbows this week so that's why I've put it off a bit um, but when I did do a, um, a video a couple of days ago um, even though I wasn't sure I should it actually made me feel much better I think I, um, I just felt generally better for having made a video having been in my craft room and done something and it, it's, it's uh, certainly it does a lot for my general well-being to be able to get into my craft room, I've discovered. I'm sure many of you feel the same, even if you're having a down day. Just doing a bit of crafting, it just lifts the spirits and makes you feel better about the world. So, right, so I'm just going to do that for now, and then I'll cut them all afterwards. That's what I'm going to try and do. So a bit of folding. So I'm just wondering if this is going to be too tall, but we'll... We'll just work with what we've got I think. So this paper, so that was a coffee dyed paper, now I've got an avocado dyed paper and uh, yeah, we'll just work through these. So this is um, the week, the, um, Richard and I are pretty much isolating from now on just to be on the safe side for, for the uh, the surgery next week so um the girls both came to see us that's not quite right is it they both came to see us last weekend separately so we had to spend a bit of time with both of them all three of them really um so hannah hannah the young uh, our younger one came over on friday evening stayed the night with us which was really nice so just nice to sit and chill and chat she always enjoys that, just sitting and, and talking and having a nice meal together. And then she came, um, so she stayed over. And then Saturday morning, um, both she and Richard did Park Run together. Now, I don't know if you've heard of Park Run. If you're in the UK, you probably have, almost certainly, because it's everywhere here. But if you're not in the UK, you may not have done. And it's basically, it's a, it's a 5K run. Um, it's run every Saturday morning. Uh, from nine o'clock, every every park run starts at nine o'clock at Saturday on a Saturday morning. Everybody starts at the same time, um, and it's run in local parks. So it's run all over this country, and I think I know there's quite a lot of runs going on in Europe as well. Whether they've whether it's reached further afield than that, I don't know. And it's all run by volunteers. Um, it's really, really, really good. Um, Richard and Hannah both started going together um, in April 2019 I think they both um, something Hannah wanted to do and she got her dad to go along with her to do it and he really got into it he'd never been much really into running before 
but he absolutely loves it. They both do, but with, with Hannah being of a lifestyle that, you know, doesn't always allow her to be up and out that early in the morning. Um, uh, it, it tends to be not so many young people do it, I guess. Um, because it's more difficult to fit it in, I think, when you, you know, when you're young and you're about and going away at weekends and just having, just living life, really. Um, I'm not saying that there are no young people doing it, but it's possibly less popular with, with the younger generation, I guess. Um, but she does like doing it, and so she said she would come and come and run with her dad because last Saturday was his 50th um, park run. Um, it's <clears throat> one of those things whenever they, um, you know, hit, hit a 50 milestone. So the first one is 50 runs, and then when you get 100, and then it's 100, 150, and you can. You get a, they make a bit of a deal of it, and you get a free T-shirt with with that number on the back, um, and it's just you know quite <clears throat> quite nice to be able to to record the achievement really, because it's quite a quite a big achievement to to do your fifty. It takes almost a year to to do fifty park runs, as you can tell, because it's once a week. Um, because of pandemic, he was almost there at the beginning of um, when we went into lockdown last year. I think he just into into the low forties. So he's had to um, carry on um, doing it once they restarted Parkrun. It took a long time for them to get get it going again. It was towards the end of July, I think, before Parkrun reopened. And it had closed down in the beginning of March last year. So it had been well over a year before Parkrun had been going. I mean, he had car carried on running in the evenings at home and got himself a nice 5K route worked out. So he has kept it up. But um, so he's been going back again and she's been doing s some of them while she's been in the middle of moving. She's managed to fit in a couple and um, is going to try and get herself back into the routine. Anyway, so they so we all went. I went along as well just to sort of support and, um, you know, clap them on or cheer them on, should I say. Um, so, yeah, he did his 50 and um, he actually managed to do a PB, a, pe um, a personal best time which he was very pleased about because he's been trying to trying to beat his own time for a, a while and he, it's nice that he did it actually on that day so that was really nice and uh, she very much enjoyed running with him I mean he, he is actually quite a good runner so he did finish it quite a, quite a time before she did so he actually ran along with her after he'd finished. <laughs> he went back and ran up with her the last, I don't know, two or three hundred yards to just encourage her home, which I think she quite appreciated. And uh, yeah, it was, that was lovely. And then we all came back and sat in the garden for the rest of the morning, I think. It was a beautiful day. We had lunch in the garden and, uh, and then she went home. She had things she needed to be doing. So yeah, that was that was really nice, and it was a nice nice thing for for her to do with her dad, and he really enjoyed it. He enjoyed the fact that she was there, running, not with him, but part of the part of the team. It was yeah, it was really nice. So that was Saturday. Right now, we need to start cutting these. I think right. I hope I'm doing them right. I think that's right. I mean, that's fairly seems to be fairly straightforward. And then we have to cut off these top parts. I don't know if you know if I'm folding them the right way, but it's not an issue to actually fold them the other way if I need to to do that. Because I've got to fold around the back, so I haven't really been paying attention to how they need to be folded. So I'm just going to cut them and do them all. cut them and then glue them and then we start to decorate. Just got to cut this one on a bit of an angle. Have I gone too far? So I think that goes like that. Yep. Okay. So if you see I've got a variety of so I've got a couple of book pages and this is uh, this is just a digital paper from one of Rachel's kits and because it was backed, you know, it was um it was already printed on both sides I thought it was a good one to use because then you've got a nice little neutral area here that can be decorated but it's I've got a really pretty background right so let's just
keep on doing with it. I'm just going to make sure I've got my folds nicely creased down so I can see where to cut. Okay, so that was oops, that was that was last Saturday. And and then Sunday was Jenny and Alyssa came over for the afternoon, which was really delightful. Her little one was in great form. She she was quite funny. She she turned she arrived, they arrived, they walked in, and Grandad and I stood there ready for our for our hello hug, which is what she normally does. She walked straight past us, wasn't wasn't interested in us at all, straight in to the to the doll's house. I don't want to say to, hello today, I've got things to do. Down at the doll's house, straight in, and she gave us a big grin saying, this is where I want to be. She was lovely. I mean, I'm, I'm just so pleased that she likes it. But it wasn't long before uh, she decided fabric was required. So we came upstairs and uh, did our usual forage for the fabric scraps. And then I thought I might just introduce her to my um, punches. Because um, last time she came, we did some... We did a bit of stamping, and you've seen seen me do, um, the evidence of that in my in my journal with me video. So I thought, oh, I wonder if she'll be able to manage to do a bit of stamping. I wonder if she'll like that, and whether she'll be able to manage to do it. Well, yes, she did. In fact, she really she really enjoyed it. We made flowers. I'll just show you what what she made. So. All the flowers that I've been making, which I think you may not have actually seen yet. I think you haven't seen that video yet, so I apologise. But there are a whole load of flowers in here. But I thought the one she made, or one of the ones she made, I've put right on top so I know what's in this box. I'm not going to show you because you haven't seen the video yet where I make them. <laughs> so that would be a bit of a spoiler, wouldn't it? But uh, yeah, she quite enjoyed using the punches, the flower punches, and then just gluing them all together. So I put the glue and she'd stick them on. And I don't know how many layers there are under here. She just kept sticking them and sticking them and sticking them. But she quite enjoyed that. And it was nice for me to, to have to do that with her as well. I'm, I'm really enjoying introducing her to the, the delights of crafting. And she quite likes coming up into my room and discovering the new things. And it's rather nice to do that. And, um, yeah, then... I think we, we spent quite a lot of time reading books in her room, which was which was a lovely again, because we just snuggled up on her bed and she just kept choosing books for me to read to her. And again, that was a first, really, that she's she's actually sat and listened. Normally she just wants to leaf through as fast as possible and then move on to the next one. But this time she actually really <clears throat> she really sat down and snuggled up with me and that again was just so lovely. And Richard was very keen for, for me to spend as much time with her as possible. Um, because even though we'll probably see them after the operation, I don't know how much I'll be able to actually play with her, with me arm in a sling. It might be a bit tricky, and also, you know, she's it might, she's quite boisterous, and it might be a bit a bit difficult to um, to play. So well, so I thought it. You know, he's he sort of said, "Well, you spend as much time with her as you can today." in case it's not very easy to do afterwards. So that was nice. Yeah, so we had a really lovely afternoon. I think she I think she enjoyed herself. We made a, bit, a, a den under the dining table. She loves a den. And uh, she laid out all the pieces of fabric that we'd brought downstairs all over the floor in a very orderly arrangement. It's quite funny. That's what she likes to do with the fabric. She likes to lay them all out. One by one. So they, they make it sort of almost like a carpet or something. Yeah, so that was a really nice afternoon. So they're nice sort of memories for us to to keep and um I don't know if I can't can't play with her for a little while. That will sustain me <laughs> fully for a bit. Nearly done with cutting these bits. So we 
good to be cutting off all those torn edges really. Whoops. Okay. Right. That's that. Now I'm going to glue them up so I need to use my glue book. So what I want to do, I think I want to do the uh, half circle before I glue them. And the other thing I want to do, I think, is to do the corners, round the corners. I'll do that after I've glued it. I might do that part of this. Out of this process, I'll do that. Whoops! Whoops, sorry about that. It's my glue gun for a button. Pull that around. No, that's, not glued. that's not quite right. It's um, lying flat. Why is that? It's kind of bending up as though the fold is just too tight. Oops, there we go. Over there. Yep, yeah, just glued it to the book. It's really good, isn't it? Okay, just grab my glue. And do a little bit of, just do the corners. thin this paper so the whole corner punch doesn't necessarily like something quite as small, quite as thin as this. I might just have to finish it off with the scissors. Sort of catches most of it but not quite all of it. Alright, that's that one. Next! I'll to try and use a different part of the the book. Don't want to waste, waste any of the paper. Oh, hang on. Let's do the, do my quick thumbnail. I know I'm going to forget one of these. It's just easy to do it before you glue it, isn't it? Okay. Oh, uh, didn't quite didn't quite work this time. I think sometimes these punches don't really like very thin paper. Are you actually filming? Yes, I'm, I'm filming now. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Just check in if I'm filming so he can stop the hoovering. Bless him. But he has been doing some fixing up a curtain rail, so there's quite a lot of mess downstairs. So he's, the uh, floor will definitely need a bit of a need a vacuum. Let's see if it will work. Nope. Now I could get a piece of card to put under it, but I'd have to find a piece of card first, and it's just as easy to do it with my scissors. Do that. Whoop. Okay. There's a pink one. Let's do my blue one. This one is going to be, I've been wanting to do this one because I want to do one for my fairy journal. So that's going to be this one, I think. I seem to be disappearing under scissors now. Okay. Put that away too. this first. See if it'll do it. Did it? Almost. <laughs> I 
Uh, made a mark where it should be. It's just a little bit soft, I think, this paper. I mean, it's only copy paper, so it's not surprising. It's, it's not, <coughs> not grabbing it very well. Okay, a bit of glue on that side. glue on this side. There we are. Now do I do I risk using that <coughs> corner punch? I'm gonna try the slightly bigger bigger punch, the 10 millimeter. See if that works any better. Yes it did. That seemed to work better with the, with the bigger one. Yeah, a bit better. And I've got a little bit of it. <coughs> oh sorry. <coughs> oh I do pop your pardon. A bit dry this morning. We tried to go out for a walk a little while ago. We got sort of almost there. And then we realised we're almost out of petrol. <laughs> and we weren't convinced that our petrol that we had would get us home again if we didn't turn around immediately and come back. <laughs> Which is what we did. Because we've got a bit of a petrol crisis going on at the moment where um, we haven't got enough drivers to deliver the petrol to the stations. So everybody are topping up their cars. And um, petrol stations are now running out of petrol. Um, so <clears throat> we're lucky we've got two cars and we are keeping the one that's got lots of petrol in to make sure we can get me to the hospital next week because <laughs> if, uh, if the situation doesn't get any better soon we want to make sure that car, I mean we're not going to go anywhere much this week apart from on Friday I've got to go over and I've got to have a, I've got to have a Covid test on Friday at the hospital and it's not a, it's about a half an hour's drive, a bit, bit, maybe a bit more. On a Friday morning, probably more like 40 to 45 minutes drive. Um, so we've got, we're plenty, you know, we've got plenty of petrol in that car, but um, our, little, our little runabout car is almost empty. So we thought we might be able to use that for the next couple of days. But it's got less petrol in it than we thought. So, yeah. I'm going to have to use use the other car. I've only got a couple of things I've got to do this week. I've got Pilates tomorrow, my last one. Right. Okay, there's me punch. Let's do these corners. Of a bit ragged. Just tidy that up. <coughs> and this one, maybe I'll do the point. maybe I'll do the corners first, shall I? Okay, that's better. And then this this is quite thick. This is the same paper I use in my glue book, and it's actually quite thick paper. So it's, it's fine, with, better with the punches, I think. All right. All right, get rid of this. to make these library cards. I've seen lots of people making them over the I don't know, a couple of years or whatever, more than two years ago that I've been watching videos. Um, but I've never actually made them myself so it's quite nice to actually have this as part of part of the challenge so I'm actually learning how to make them. And it's really simple. Things often are 
but if you don't actually have a go at it, they will seem harder than you think. They're going to, you know, they seem harder than they actually are, is what I'm trying to say. So that's those. That one, sorry, two book page ones. And then the last one is this one, which is the, the one made from Rachel's, one of Rachel's digitals. Couldn't tell you which one. Seems to punch okay. Yeah, that's better. Each one has got a little bit better. And let's do this. Does that work? Yeah. <clears throat> it's a shame about the uh, bit inside, but you can't keep it all out. And use it all. You've got to sacrifice a little bit of the pattern to fold it up. I didn't want it the other way around. I wanted the pretty, pretty pink roses on, on view. So that was the choice I, I made. Right, that's the last one. I don't know how many of these are finished actually decorating. Taking me nearly half an hour just to do these. Right, um, I definitely know I want to do a um, <coughs> one for the fairy journal, so I'm going to start with that one, I think. Now, I had a thought of what I might be able to do, but I don't know if it'll work. Um, I was wondering whether to use one of my little pieces of snippet roll and make another pocket here. So I've got a pocket here and then a pocket here. And I think... I think I quite like that. And now then I just need to decorate this a little bit before I put the pocket on. Which bit of this shall I use? So this is quite sweet, but then I lose half my butterfly there. So maybe this end would be, <coughs> be a good end to use. Oops, what have I dropped? Oh, one of the I'm knocking my pockets off on the the floor now. So maybe I'll just um, use this. Cut that there. Just go off this endy bit that's sticking out. Glue that down quite yet, still a little bit on the wide side actually. Still need to uh, trim it off a little bit more. <clears throat> and a bit more this side. It's not straight now. Okay, so that can go there. Now what do I put up here? Uh, <laughs> I got as far as thinking of that, and that's as far as I got. Um, I might do a little bit of stamping at the top. I wonder whether to have these sparkles coming out of the coming out of the pocket. And I've got these mushrooms here, haven't I? Maybe the mushrooms look quite nice on the, on the side there. Let's try that. Um, yeah, I haven't used the mushrooms yet. Um, 
think I want a little bit of paper or something. A bit of lace maybe. I'm just going to put the mushroom there. Oh, that didn't come out very well, did it? <clears throat> if I can put it back into place, at least with these silicon ones, you can see where you were. Maybe try and press it on the place that we missed. Yeah, that's all right. Good. Now I did wonder about having this little sparkles <clears throat> coming out of the coming out of the pocket. Nope, wrong way around. It's not going to work if I stick it on the wrong way, is it? So, something like that. And if I try to put it like that. Let's give it a try. If I don't like it, I'll just have to make another one, won't I? and pop it under there without actually marking the paper before I'm ready. <clears throat> I want it to come like it's coming out of the pocket. Right, let's try that. Yep, I quite like that. And... See which fairy would be. Yeah, perhaps that little fairy there, as though she's. Would she be creating her magic there. Yep, let's do that. Make sure she's touching all over. All right, I like that. Don't think it needs much more than that. Maybe do I need anything else? Maybe a little little butterfly here. Yes. Um, where are my butterflies? Butterflies. I've got these. That might look alright. Oh, got quite a few punched ones. These are ones I've die cut, and then they're punched ones out of the. Oh, that's too close in colour. Ones out of the painted or the sprayed papers. I'm liking that one. I wonder if I can put another one on top. Little tiny, I've got some little tiny ones in here somewhere. Of course, because they're tiny, they're all disappeared to the bottom of the box. When I'm saying tiny, I mean they're really tiny. And I think they're all the wrong colour. Have I got any in the, the lighter colour? What's the, oh, here we are. Got that nice bit of sheen to them. <clears throat> okay, let's put these back. Okay, just going to do these. This little butterfly on. I don't mind spending a little bit more time on this one because I know I'm going to be using it very soon. I've actually got somewhere for it to go, so. I 
I want to get it, you know, make it look, look as nice as I can. Get it properly finished. And of course it needs something in the middle. crystals right in the middle there there ha ha lovely right so we'll stick on this pocket I'm trying really hard to keep this mat clean. I don't know how long I manage it. Okay. And then we have another little pocket. Of course, when I <laughs> when I go to put something in the pocket, I won't want to cover up all these other bits, will I? And what can I put just at the top of the top of the pocket? Little moon and star thing. I'm hoping it'll go that way around. <clears throat> yeah, just in that corner, and that just finishes it off. little pocket for my fairy journal. Okay so that one's done. Now I can move on, use some other things, non-fairy things. And I'm loving doing the fairy journal but it's also quite nice to do some work with some different products as well. Let's get this out of the way. finally started using my snippet which is quite nice as well although I do have plans for quite a lot of it belly bands and such which we'll come to right put that to one side which one shall I use next let's go with the old coffee dye some reason I haven't stuck that very well at all. Never mind. That'll all be disguised, I'm sure. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to use some some of these Tim Holtz stamps. Do what uh, Rachel would call a more traditional style of library pocket, whatever that means. I have no idea. Um. Let's see. So she did some. Let's open this up again. She did some numbers and things at the top. So. No, I think I'll use this one. I'm going to stick that. 
that at the top. And then there was a did something smaller underneath, so I don't know. I'm just gonna use this. This is figure one and figure two. Okay. No idea what, what it's supposed to be saying, but um and then at the bottom I've got to ink on this one. Um got an idea of what we might want to do. Let's just do a bit of inking around this. It feels always coffee dyed paper always looks feels like it needs some extra distressing. I've got glitter on my distressing <laughs> even though I haven't really used it very much in my uh, fairy journal I've managed to get glitter on it anyway mind you I've got glitter everywhere there's bits of glitter all over my mat just can't get away from it I'm just going to go around this a little bit as well okay now I've got this is called a field label, which I think I might just put there. And then I've got a little something else that I might like to put um, over it. See how it looks. Let's do the field label. Some of these I've never used. It's quite nice to have an opportunity to use some. I've been using the, um, the label ones blank label ones, but not so much the others. I've got that. Okay. 1932. <laughs> right. Let's just stamp it off a little bit. Then Right, just had another thought while I was doing that. <clears throat> Have I got? Yeah, I've got. I wanted to. I'm thinking about a small flower along the side. Now these are ones that I've actually. These are digital ones that I've bought and fussy cuts. Okay, so whether I've got small ones that I want to use. Well, I've got in my other box, I've got the ones I've, cut, I've taken out of um, books, out of a book, a couple of books that I've got. What, for some reason, I've got a yellow flower in mind. So that might be okay. Took me hours to fussy cut all these flowers. Quite nice to finally get to use them. So as fussy cut roses is mostly what this is. There's the kit, I think it's from... Mm -hmm. Might be pink monarch prints. Not too tall. Yeah, I suppose I could cut it down a bit. Could put that like that. Actually, I quite like it just as it is. I was going to add something else, but I quite like that, just like that. Yeah, I might just do that, actually. It wasn't what I was planning to do at all, but now I've put it on there. I love the flower. I just like the way it just sits there, so I think that might be... That might be enough on there. Does it need any distressing? Maybe just a touch around the edges just to take away any white white bits where I've cut round. I'll worry about the bottom bit because that's gonna have to get chopped off. Some of these just need to be kept fairly simple, I think. Depends on the style you're going for, really. Okay. Um, so, oh, I'm not sure. That's not a good idea. I'm, go I'm bound to relieve it of a leaf or two if I do it that way because of pushing it away. This leaf is looking a little delicate, so I think maybe I'll use this instead. Bit more easy to control where you put the glue as well. Okay. 
do like it when my art glitter glue is flowing more freely. Sometimes they just take a little while once you start using them. They warm up, I think. And then you've got a bit of flow going there. Nice, like that. Let's just trim off the extra bits. Try not to trim off bits of pocket. <laughs> it's got a bit too close there. Okay. Number two done. Hmm. I'm just thinking this corner looks a bit blank now. Shall we just see if it needs a? Uh, does it need a stamp? A little stamp, maybe. Very small one though. So what colour? Mm. Something neutral. That floral one. So I've got little bird ones here. Some really pretty floral ones. I think they're all a bit big though. I really don't think it needs to be very big. What about green? Let's look at green. There's green ones. It's a small one. No, it's two. Two small ones. realise I should have stamped on the opposite corners, shouldn't I? And then had these on the opposite corners because I'm I'm now it's all looking a bit square now, so yeah. That's cause that's because Rachel stamped up here and I'm just got distracted by what she was doing. Maybe I put my little stamp there. Leave this bit clear. Bit of clear space because you're going to put something in it anyway, so you're not going to really see the bunch of the background. That's what I'll do, I think. Put my little stamp in that corner. There we are. Just a little something extra. Quite like that. Okay. One's done. Sometimes it's just getting started with some of these things, isn't it? Um, right. Need to do one of these. I need to cover up this area here because it's upside down. So I wonder. I might use some, some of my scraps. I've got these beautiful scraps from my... <coughs> when I was doing my um, folio, this is the Vibrant Melodies paper, which is really, really beautiful. Some of these I'm thinking I probably shouldn't have done the, uh, I shouldn't have done the clip, the um, thumb hole, because I might want to put some lace on the, across the top. But maybe I'll do that and in, incorporate that somehow. And if I could do that. Hmm. So which way round I like it. I think I like it like that. What else have I got? OK, 
crazy with them. What I want to put on top. I've got a more neutral one here. And then I could decorate with something on top. How about that? Right, okay. Um, let's mark it. And if I cover the whole thing, then I'll just re punch my thumb hole. Just give this a slightly rougher edge. What am I doing for time? I think I'm going to run out, of course, as usual. One more thumb hole. Okay, I can get it in the same place. Maybe I should mark it. That would be sensible, wouldn't it? Just to mark one so I get it in the same. More or less the middle. And then I can line it up. Fingers crossed. Yep, and I just need to ink this, otherwise it's almost invisible. But I've got something I'm hoping will fit over the top of that. a lot of the uh, ephemera left over. And one of them is this nice big flower. So I'm wondering if that will fit. Depending on which way around I do it. Can I fit it on? Probably can, just about. So I'm not sure it's meant to be that way round. It's probably meant to be that way round. Hmm. Maybe I'll have to trim it off a bit at the bottom so it doesn't catch too much here. I'll probably get away with it a little bit there. I just want to put a little bit of something behind it. What can I put behind it? This um, green backgroundy sort of paper. I wonder if I can just tear a kind of a cornery piece off. Like that. So it's got a green tinge to it. And then that would go on a bit like that. That might work. Okay, I'm going to make that work, I think. I've seen so many people doing autumn journals, really beautiful stuff, and I'm just thinking I'm loving all the autumn colours. Um, Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodah has been making a most beautiful autumn journal, and gail has been making lots as well, and Barbara's been working with autumn colours, and I'm thinking, oh, I'd love to make an autumn journal, but of course I can't start anything new right now. So by the time I can start a new, a new project, it's most likely going to be have to be a Christmas journal, I suppose. So I'm thinking maybe I'll just, if I make a few things that could work as an autumn journal in the future, 
maybe I'll make one next year. That's my thought. So, and this this kit, this vibrant melodies kit, I I think it would make um, it's a really nice ephemera for for an autumn journal. Just because the colours are just got those warm golds and reds, and there's lots of an orange. There's also all those colours in this kit, so I think it would make a very good autumn journal kit, or at least part of an autumn journal kit. You know, my I do like to mix mix my kits. I don't really tend to stick with just one kit for a journal. Oh, no, I don't need to turn there because I'm going to cut that off. Okay, let's see how I get this get this on without losing too much of my other flower. I think like that might just about be okay. Take off some of that glue. I don't want it sticking down to the um, <clears throat> to the background of the pocket. Let's just. Make sure. <laughs> Put a bit too much glue on, didn't I? Okay. And then I just want a little bit up here. A bit of something. It's such beautiful paper. It's nice to be able to use some more of it. With the all the the um the flowers and the the music in a lot of the, in the background of a lot of the piece a lot of the papers it's really it's really lovely paper that's a bit too much that's yeah I didn't do a very good job of tearing that that's just too ragged I can't like, use this I don't mind it being ragged along the bottom, but not across the top. That doesn't work for me. Bit of that there. Now I need a small something or other. What sort of small something or other can I uh, can I add? Have I got anything in that? Any ephemera? I have got some little tickets and things, that's cool. or little little tags. Hmm. Quite like them little, little taggy things. But if they're tags they need some sort of topper or yeah, I might have to do something more with that. And as usual, time is getting little tight one. I quite like that little one. Right, let's see what I can... Uh -huh. Okay, I might just have to quickly do... I'm getting the urge to put a bit of a um, an eyelet here. I'm just going to put this on. And as a bit of a time saver, I might just turn off the camera for a moment because I have used my hour. I know it's not it's not a set time to do these videos and we can go over the hour if we feel so inclined, but by the time I've organised myself with this eyelet, I'm going to be another five minutes. And I thought I might just do a little bit of preparation to, on it and then I'll come back and just finish it off. Um because I haven't quite decided which one I want to use yet. So I will be back and I will finish it in this video. But I just need to work out what I'm going to do and how I'm going to do it. Okay, so um, I've gone ahead and I've chosen this little tag and I've punched my holes. I also found, just floating around in my little box by my by my side, this little bit of lace which I thought went really nicely there. Just to finish off this, this piece here, it looked a bit... Strange, just one single piece of pa uh, paper on, on there. So I added the piece of lace, and I like that. So I'm going to line those up, and then I've got this lovely, warm, coppery-coloured eyelet that I've chosen to go in in the hole. I'm going to try and line up. There we are. So then I've just got to set it. 
set the two together. I hope this works. Okay. Are we set? Yes, we are. Jolly good. And then, so, I mean, this will still twiddle a bit if you want it to. So you get it in the position you want. And then I just need to put a little bit of Doing this is totally inspired by Barbara. I've seen her do this kind of thing quite a bit and I just, I love the way it looks with little tags, little eyelets just on the corner of things. And I've got this beautiful red sari silk. Look how gorgeous that is. And it goes really well with the flower. So I thought I might just put a bit of that through my eyelet. It's quite wide, so I'm just wondering, um, is the other end any narrower? No. <laughs> This is always a challenge, getting things through me, through my holes. So I just use my tweezers to grab and pull. There we are. So I don't really want it to be too thick. So I'm just wondering how best to, to fix this really, because I don't really want a knot. might just cut that there maybe I'll get a little piece of baker's twine I'll have to do it off camera because I didn't think this far ahead and time is really you know I've gone well over the time now so I'm going to put a little piece of red baker's twine just to hold that in place I might just trim this off a little bit just so it's not too big, see how it looks. But that's that one pretty much done now. I just move these bits aside. So I'm really, I'm loving how that one looks actually. I like that. And there's still, there's lots of tags in the kit, so I could always put one of the tags from the kit in the pocket. In fact, I might even have one or two knocking around. Here we go, let's have a look. I don't know if there's any tags here. Oh, here's one. Just so you can see how it would look. Oh, and that goes really well, actually. <laughs> As luck would have it. So there we are. It's got a tag and everything. How cool is that? So, yeah, I'm pleased with that. So it's that one. Really, I mean, I'm loving these, actually. I, must, I think I might try and go ahead and finish the rest. And maybe I'll put a photograph up, at the, like I do sometimes, if I get to finish them. So they're the three we've done. And they're all finished and decorated and ready to use. And then I've just got these three to finish. So if I, if I can... Um, finish these before I need to put this up I will do so and add the photograph as I do sometimes okay so thank you very much for joining me and please do join me again soon bye for now